Då önskar jag Moise Han eh, komma upp här. Han ska snacka lite på engelsk. Ung stämma så ta gott emot Moise Han. <clears throat> Honorable ladies and gentlemen, I say this with a heavy heart that my beloved homeland Kashmir has turned into a living hell in contrast to what it once was, paradise on earth. On August, of five, on the August 5th, 2019, the Indian government ended over 70 years of army and statehood for the Jammu and Kashmir states. The re-invasion of Kashmir by India while dismantling Kashmir's special status under Article 370 and Article 35A of its constitution is an act of aggression accounting to the illegal annexation of the UN-recognized disputed territory. The Indian government sent additional troops to suppress the people. Modi imposed, imposed curfew, imposed internet apartheid, and authorities have reportedly uh, carried out mass detentions for our tons of political actors. And today marks the six months uh, since the embattled Indian held Kashmir was, was had internet removed. And that's the longest ever shut down by a democracy ever. And India shut down schools, seizing the youth's and the future generation's education. And what follows is that the youth are they are less hesitant to pick up books, and they are more likely to pick up uh, to weapons and being radicalized. And they do this to, to defend the earth that they were, that they belong to. Uh, Kashmir is the, one of the most heavily militarized zones on the planet, and repression is an old saga. It has been going on for decades, and the Indian security agencies have used the most brutal of methods, from torture to killings, in an endeavor to ruin and destroy the spirit of the Kashmiri people. The level of brutality, they're breaking all records ever known to man. And the inhuman treatment of the people of Kashmir that they're being subjected to must be halted. The Kashmiri people, like here, like everywhere, they deserve their fundamental human rights. They should be allowed to assemble and speak freely. The young should be allowed to go to school and they should live free of fear and repression. My question is this, how long can you suppress the people of Kashmir? We must warn India that brute force, no matter how strongly applied, has a consequence and can never subdue the most basic human desire for freedom. I am sure that freedom, it's a, it's a goal that is in our reach. Time is not far when people of Kashmir will celebrate freedom and live their normal lives where fear will have no place. Now, centuries ago, Emperor Jahangir rightly said about my homeland, if there's a paradise on earth, it is this, it is this, it is this. And as global citizens, it is the responsibility of each and every single one of us to, to play our part in restoring Kashmir's glory to fight for freedom and prosperity and making Kashmir once again paradise on earth. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much, uh, Moise.